One side done, one side to go. Hi guys, welcome back. In my last video, I commented about I was going to do all the mooring dollies and cleats or whatever you call them in red. By the way, it's not very nice today. There's very fine misty drizzle in the air and it's a little bit damp out here. So no work going on. Well, the very kind people, Jack and Joe, who get me that wonderful Hammerite blue paint, which we've seen in the previous video I've used around the back deck. I'm going to also use some of that here on the front deck, which I'll cut in as I do the video, which is going to be the front seats and the front gas locker hatch. Saw the video that I wanted some red paint. Well, Jack runs a car boot sale on Sundays and some of his customers were there selling their wares as normal. And what does he find? A customer with some little bottles of red paint for sale. Now, not only did he get me one little bottle, not two, but 40 of them. Yes, so I've got red paint to do all this with. Yes, they're little pots, but that's not a problem. Look at the lots I've got there. So as I said, rain has stopped play today, it's drizzly, and what I wanted to do was, I wanted to do that red paint, but I'm not gonna do it in the rain. And the other job I wanted to do, the side of the boat, the red, I was gonna get the buffer out. I bought a buffing pad to go on my drill, and I was gonna go and get some polish, and I was gonna walk up to the shops and get some polish today and try polishing it rather than painting it. See if I can, I wanted to see if I could buff it up and bring it up looking good rather than going to all the expense of lots more paint. I've already spent an awful lot of money on doing what I've done so far. And to be honest with you, the money's run out. So, just a little update there, that you know what's going on. The wind's blown through from the back cabin, which the doors are open, through to the front, and I'm trying to keep the front doors pushed too. And they keep blowing, the wind's obviously come right through the boat. It's quite breezy out here, and I've shoved the camera into the corner of the front well deck, hoping I'm not getting any wind noise on this. Well, I'm just off to the pub. My very good friend of mine now, Gary, a patron, I messed up with last year. No. Just been here again today. We just had a barbecue. I didn't video any of it. I wanted uh, just some us time, you know, chat about things without um, worrying about the camera. So anyway, he parked his car in the car park here at the mill and brook. I asked him if he could park this car there and they said yes, but well, I'm just gonna go in and thank them for that. So, I've also met a couple of other people in there, Joe and Jack, who kindly gave me all the wonderful paint. I met them in there as well. So, it's become quite a sort of friendly sort of place. I've only been in there a couple of times. It's been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, well recommended. Let's take the camera there and I'll show you what I mean. Well, it's all of uh, 50 yards from the boat. Well, here it is, the mill and brook. Water. Salt is warm water. 
I have muted the natural sound because there's music playing, but I will take you for a little walk around the pub. This being a traditional old fashioned type of pub, it has a public bar and a lounge bar. Here's the lounge bar. Here the street looked over a hundred years ago. Well, we go down a few steps here and we go into the garden. I said there's seating for over a hundred people here, and some of it, as you'll see here, is also undercover. Well, that's the uh, hatch done and the seat's done. What I'll do now is take off the mask and tape. Please tape the edges. Get it off before it rains or something. And that's all right. I'm going to get off. So there we go. Some blue in the front well deck. Yes, I've beaten my front well deck up. I made it black and blue. I'm happy with that. Of course, a big thank you again goes out to Jack and Joe for the red paint now, besides the blue paint. All of you wonderful Patreon, PayPal supporters, and Super Thanks supporters. Which your input has gone an awful long way to me doing these improvements on my boat don't forget if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and don't forget to hit that old bell notification button that way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video well that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching Trevor Apes